Into the Spider-Verse gave options to new ways for the spiders to be made in different ways, but all beginning with a single bite from a radioactive spider. It was just the same for Entangled. Fresh out of school and into the adulthood, everyone wants, but not Aisha Adams. She loves space, being creative, and using her imagination to the fullest. Hello friends, and welcome to another video. This video is over my spider Sona. So to give some backstory, Into the Spider-Verse came out like in 2018, and there was a art challenge to make your own spider Sona. And the spider Sona whole fiasco came and everyone was making their own spider Sonas, kind of based off of Miles Morale or other types of characters, such as the ones that I'm showing on screen, like Gwen, who was in that. But the Spider-Verse, though, Into the Spider-Verse, like, it opened up a whole array of, like, okay, how would, if I were Spider-Man or Spider-Woman or some spider, so they uh, dubbed them the spiders, if I was some spider, what would I be? What would I look like? Uh, how would my hair be? How would my outfit be? How would my powers be? And so was born a lot of spider sonas and this was the art challenge that the art community came up with and it was absolutely amazing to see a lot of how people came up with their characters, their names, the abilities, because they included who they believe they are and put their soul, just a piece of it, into their characters that they created. With me, there, it's no different. <laughs> it's just, it's been a while since the whole uh, fiasco of Into the Spider-Verse. The reason why I'm doing this is because I recently rewatched uh, Into the Spider-Verse and found out that they are making a second Into the Spider-Universe. And I'm excited for that. That's coming out actually sometime next year in 2022 and super excited to see how a lot of this turns out uh we've gotten some teaser trailers we've gotten some information i'm not going to give you much information over that but i will if i can find the link to the trailer i will link it down below for you guys as well as the tweet that i found it on and yeah so to give some backstory for my spider sona her name is entangled i wanted it to portray with something uh spider-like something that spiders do spiders weave webs but they don't just weave webs they entangle or ensnare their prey and so that's how entangled was born with her real name her real name is Aisha Autumns in her time spider-man has died 20 years prior to her birth there was no spider-man villains have run amok not as many as you would think just a few and far between because they wanted to keep their schemes kind of underground. It is based in the future. How soon in the future? <laughs> Think of kind of spacey themed, almost. Not not too much, just some somewhat. Kind of like where we're at right now, but maybe more futuristic. Um, her age is 27. She was bitten by a radioactive spider in her last year of college. She was actually doing an internship and was told to meet her work group together in a building that was under construction that was for their job for internship to uh, make sure everything was going all right. Um, her group left and then she stayed just to finalize uh, documentations for the buildings and stuff that she was going into for uh, designing, designing art buildings and things like that and then she was bit by a kind of bluish purple toned with uh, green like bright green dots of it on a spider and that's who she was bit by uh, the number I'm not gonna give a number for it because I feel like yes it's significant but I also feel like everyone goes for the same number so if I were to choose a number it would be 13 and guarantee you that there's already other people that's like chose number 13 so I just don't have a number for her there is no number for the spider that's just the color of the spider which will be included at the end of this on the image as well her height is my height which is five seven and a half um five foot seven <laughs> to be specific her abilities are similar to the original Peter Parker where he had spider sense which I believe all spider spiders have actually spider sense but hers is a little different it's it's like spider sense, but it's more potent and it's more of like a future sense. So she doesn't sense the danger immediately. She senses it before it happens. And so she takes that and uses that to her ability to deter violence and crimes that happen. It's more potent in dangerous fights. So I haven't really given her a villain. Um, one that I kind of am 
pertain to is kind of like an oni like an oni demon or something like an oni version of dr octopus <laughs> she's also bonded with a uh, symbiote so symbiotes are very interesting with the spider universe because symbiotes are space aliens and they traveled so far to find a home for them to be able to live and the only way they can live is by infecting a host with hers it was actually already embedded into the spider it was dripping like ooze off the spider that bit her but it was kind of like a peaceful symbiote violent at times but very 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 peaceful and that's why there's these eight like veiny spider leggy things coming up around her outfit that's actually the symbiote trying to form a bond with her and then whenever she does form a bond with her symbiote it is very malicious with their intent i mean their their whole species is very malevolent and very aggressive and very mean but they're not always like like how venom is <laughs> in the newest venom movie that came out which the carnage is coming out soon so that'll be interesting to see how they portray it even more but uh with her symbiote uh she doesn't have a name but they never gave her a name with her taking over at times that she feels like she can control uh entangled she does feel like she can do more than what entangled could so she takes over and uh, it kind of gives it into like uh, the multiple personality disorder or DID in a way. I'm not gonna speak for the DID community because I know that there are several of them that do uh, post on Twitter or not Twitter, YouTube and stuff like that. Um, they have more foresight into it. I'll actually link to one that I've watched before and it's interesting of how it works and how it triggers of how like certain things trigger uh, for the DID to appear. I like, uh, giving my characters complex stories and everything else like that so i felt like did would kind of work with a symbiote and a normal person and then a, a spider human so um just to kind of like give it that multiple personality genre just not trying to over glamorize it and stuff like that because it is real it is complicated and it is an issue at times another one of her abilities is that she can open up small time space time portals do like spider jumps basically through uh, time as well as uh, just normal her normal time in space to jump through to see where things are going to happen and then go back and then try to fix those things that is basically the time where Aisha Adams is located in the spider universe as entangled and how she is bonded with a symbiote her abilities her height her age um, and how entangled became to be that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i am planning on maybe releasing this later down the road as a print or a little card in my shop for sure i will be doing more of that later but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you in the next one Stay bad, y'all.